How to Become a Seller on Binance P2P Binance P2P Merchant Tutorial Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I will be teaching you how you will be able to become a merchant with or inside the Binance P2P feature. Now to be able to find the P2P feature of Binance, simply look over here on your Binance.com under trade you will be able to see other basics over here. There will be multiple basics. You have spot, margin, P2P, and convert and block trade. And as you can see, we have here P2P as one of the options, which basically means buy and sell cryptocurrencies using bank transfers and 800 options. So simply select this. And over here, you will be able to find all the different things about the P2P. As you can see here, uh, let's explore this for a bit. Right now, this is currently on the buy section. So basically, everything we're seeing here is basically uh, us buying a product from them or buying a cryptocurrency from them. If you switch this up to sell, now we will be able to see here, we will be the ones selling the specific cryptocurrency, which is right now it's set to USDT, but you can change it to BNB or ETH or any option that you want. But as you can see here, uh, this is the difference. We could also set up some filtering over here, such as the type of payment. There's a lot of different type of payment over here, different regions, and price range over here as well. Or the way you would like to see the price. Right now, it's set to highest to lowest, but you can also set it up to trades and completion rate over here. Now, the way P2P works is that you place an order. Once you place a P2P order, the crypto asset will be scrolled by a Binance P2P. You will then pay the seller by sending them the money via the suggested payment method and then you will be able to get your crypto. And if you sell crypto, it will be basically similar to the same thing. Uh, you will be placing an order. After you place an order, your crypto will be encrolled. Uh, you will confirm the payment. You will check the transaction record and give the payment amount. And then you will re release the crypto that you are selling. There's a lot of advantages to this, so let's show you how you will be able to become one. So, uh, simply select P2P User Center over here. And as you can see, if you check it out over here, this is where you will be able to see your information, such as your 30-day trades, your completion rates, your average release time, and payouts or pay times over here, and positive feedbacks. So, uh, as you can see here, there's a button called Become a Merchant. Simply select Become a Merchant and you will be redirected to this page. Now, there's a lot of different types of merchants, such as Verified Merchant, Cash Merchant, Pro Merchant, and Block Merchant. Each type of merchant has different types of requirements. So, as you can see here, uh, for the... Which one is this? For the Cash Merchant, you would need to first become a Verified Merchant. For the Pro Merchant, if, uh, if I get the section right you would still need to become the verified merchant basically verified merchant is like the uh, threshold that you have to become before you could access all of this other types of merchants over here but anyway as you can see you will be able to get some verified badges you will be able to do merchant search filters you will be able to get cheaper prices and exclusive customer supports and many many more and let's see the different requirements to be approved here as you can see here, the requirements are we must complete SMS transaction or authentication. Uh, we must complete our advanced identity verification. We, we must have a minimum amount of 1,000 USDT available in our funding wallet. There's also trading performance that we must have and meet, such as total trading volume. We need to have a higher volume than this. Right now, I don't have any, so as you can see, I have yet to reach the milestone, so I will be notified when it is reached though. Uh, there's also trading volume over here, completed orders all time, uh, completed orders, uh, account age, and completion rate. So there's a lot of requirements over here that you need to fill, fill and fill out and achieve before you will be able to be uh, considered to become a merchant. Because as you can see here, uh, please note that our evaluation of your merchant account involves in-depth process that may take up to 14 days. So attendance is not solely based on the application submission. So even if your requirements are full, your trading performance are uh, good over here, it's a check mark. It does not mean that you will be guaranteed as well. 
uh, you would need or it will also involve meeting specific regional requirements and your P2P trading performance. Also qualified users will be invited to become P2P merchants. However, any involvement in wash trading will result in a budget disqualification. So if you're doing or if you're someone who's doing wash trading, you will not be qualified for this at all. And as you can see here, you will be able to submit it three times. As you can see, you have three submissions remaining for the current three month period. So you have to be careful with that. The cash merchant over here, it will have some similar um, requirements. But as you can see, here, application unavailable. You have to be verified merchant first. But as you can see, that's the only required uh, requirement over here. For the pro merchant, let's see the requirements. Apply now. As you can see here, uh, this one you would need to successfully uh, succeed or good get a good output every year. Simply answer all of this to be able to apply for the pro program for the pro merchant and for the block merchant every year. We're gonna apply now. Similarly, with the survey, you will still also answer every year. But as you can see here, these are requirements over here as well. It's just 5k USDT, 85% uh, completion rate, average transaction size of $2,500, exceptional training record of PTP, and robust setup payment method. So those are the different requirements as well. So it's not easy to become a merchant. There's a lot of things that you need to set up. Your account should be something or it should already be experiencing a lot of transactions, a lot of movement, and you can't really become a merchant with just a new account so even if it's a new account and then you do all the transactions a lot of transactions there will still be requirements such as as you can see here there will be a specified account age as well like a number of days since you registered your binance so even if you get a lot of feeds uh, you will still need to be fulfilling a lot of this so uh, you have to be careful with your transaction and not to get involved with uh, bad transactions because that will affect your application if your completion rate or completion percentage is low, you're not really going to get a higher chance or there's a chance that you might not be even considered for a P2P merchant account. So that's basically it. So uh, you could use your account as usual. You could use P2P, do some buying and selling and just getting some data into your performance, getting some trading volume. Uh, completing your orders, completing your completion rate, just use it as you would usually use it. And eventually, when you feel confident and have a high enough data or statistics, you could try and apply. Although you have to check if all of this are already succeeded or like if it's already checked and already meet the certain threshold for acceptance. So that's basically it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.